of Asian women comedians out there, but maybe that's because Margaret Cho is just so damn good, no one else bothers to try. She's had hit specials on HBO and Comedy Central and her very own sitcom, All American Girl. She's really cute. On ABC, and now she's on tour, bringing her spe special brand of humor to Caroline's in New York this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'll be there Thursday. So let's give a big comedy corner welcome to Margaret Cho. <laughs> Uh, a road warrior. You're on the road a lot as a comedian now. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you get a lot of time to see mommy? Do you well, see your family? You know, it's really weird because I find that I'm almost 30 and I need my mother more than ever. Right. Which Good is, girl. Which is great because she calls me and leaves me these long phone messages. Really? That are just like, boop. Hi, it's mommy. I have to tell you two things. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, grandma and grandpa are gonna die. <laughs> I don't know when they're gonna die, but sometimes, so I just tell you now, so you're not surprised <laughs> when they die. Funny. <laughs> but that's between you and mommy. Don't call them and they say, oh, mommy said you're gonna die. <laughs> don't say that. That's not nice. You know, they know already. So don't say anything. But they're gonna die. Number two is, uh, <laughs> did you get the shampoo I sent you? Because I sent you shampoo that is good for fine hair. And you just use a little bit. <laughs> and then you leather and rinse. But don't repeat. You don't have to repeat. Because you did it one time. Only one. I knew him. They say all the body is leather and then rinse. I don't know what. You don't have to repeat. You did it. You just waste. You know, there's a way. You don't repeat, don't repeat. So don't repeat. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Oh. Don't repeat because only white people repeat. Don't be, don't be like white people. But I sent you the shampoo two weeks ago. And you did not call mommy to say you received. So I don't know what happened. You know, you better go outside. Because sometimes when you're not home, they leave a yellow slip. And it will not say shampoo from mommy because they don't know what it is. But I know and you know it's a shampoo to review. Oh, no. Number one, grandma, grandpa are gonna die. Did you get the shampoo I sent you? Boop! <laughs> <laughs> now, you have a new boyfriend, right? Yes, I do have a new boyfriend. And are is, you, what is he, what is, is he Korean? No, he's actually a big Irish guy. Oh. Which is very, it's, it's really a great relationship. I live with my um, boyfriend and my dog, so it's like having two dogs. <laughs> Well, it's nice because they play together and they tie each other out. Yeah. And it's really, it's really convenient. I guess it's better than having two boyfriends. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that might be better. Okay. I never thought of that. Um, but uh, it's really great. I'm going to go visit his family, which is like really nerve-wracking because he lives in Sarasota, Florida, and I was worried because I went there, you know, before, and I was asking him before I went there. I was like, you know, are there going to be any Asian people there? Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, no. Nobody. And I was like, well, could you just drop me off at the dry cleaner then? Because I can't. <laughs> I didn't want to be around all white people. It's just weird. And See, no. now you can say it. She can say it well, because she actually is Asian. Did that get it? That's the reason she can say it. OK. Yeah. Right. No, but it's like, I, of course, I love his family. Yeah. And I love him. But if you're the only person of color around a bunch of white people, it's like really nerve wracking because everybody was there was too nice. No. They were too nice to me. <laughs> they were saying, they were like, you know, so nice. And I just felt like, oh, this is my host family. They're so good. <laughs> They're so nice to me. I love America. You know, it was just really, it was like the most long duck dong experience, like that guy from 16 Candles. Like, it's just, so were you going to marry this guy? Well, I don't. You know, I want to get married, but I kind of look at husbands the same way I look at tattoos. Like, I want one, but I can't decide on what, and I don't want to be stuck with something that I'm going to grow to hate. Well, I hope you marry him. 
It sounds like a perfect match. Thanks so much for coming on, Margaret. Thank I hope you'll you. come back sometime soon. I will. And uh, you can see Margaret in New York this weekend. Make reservations at Caroline's Comedy Club. When we come back, we're going to announce the winners of our Super Soap contest and get a visit from one of Soap's sexiest guys. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys. That was so funny. Very funny.